welcome back. So today, just gonna drop some info on how prep is going. Of course, I fucked this up right away. So my weight today was 104.5. So that is a low point for me. And you know, uh, I do diet a little bit different than most guys nowadays. Because nowadays everybody is on carb cycling or some kind of special program that uh, smart coaches putting together and you know, determining how they look and how they should eat every day. So um, that's one way to do it. I'm saying that wrong, wrong, but. My way it's just simpler for me because it's hard to look at your body every day and be objective. So uh, I can see if I'm flat because I'm flat every day when I wake up. I eat for performance at the gym. So I eat to perform at the gym and for the rest of the day and throughout the night I flatten out. So. The next morning again, I need to fill back up to pr perform at the gym. So that's the philosophy behind the uh, diet. It's very, very simple. And, you know, of course, there are ways to do this uh, another way. But the goal is the same, to have as little fat as possible and keep as much muscle as possible. So with doing carb cycling, you have low days where you really struggling to get through the day and those days you will uh, probably lose muscle uh, but then you feel back up again and you have a high performance for a couple of day, days then you go back to the low days and so it goes on like a cycle and uh, this way is you know uh, it's harder to manage if you're alone for me, it's simpler because I'm just going to do this until I'm in shape and when I'm in shape, I'm looking at photos from last prep and comparing it to this prep and knowing that, you know, uh, some things I did wrong from last prep, I can change this prep and hopefully that will bring me on stage with an even better look. So that is the plan. Uh, it's not ma magic, it's not rocket science, but it's, it needs to be done in a good way. So the prep in itself is a lot more boring. And I, thought, I think also that's why a lot of coaches keep those daily updates where you update your diet every day. And you know, most of the days are probably just the same because when you start a diet it's just a bit the good coaches say eat the same as yesterday because that's the simplest way to be on the right track when you're beginning a prep so uh, that's a little bit about my diet and like I said it's the same uh, now that the, than before uh, two shakes Two chicken meals, one pork meal, and one potatoes and ground beef. So uh, I ain't gonna change that until probably I hit 103.5 uh, because I think looking at my pictures and looking at my journals from last prep. Uh, that was about where I was uh, at my best. I was pretty stable uh, for the last four weeks. Didn't change much. I saw I lost a little bit of size and gained a little bit of hardness and that's what you want. So uh, if you can keep a little bit more size and gain a little bit more hardness, uh, you know, it's, it's hard to predict the future. And 
you know, uh, every time you do a diet, it, it's different. So I will see now, uh, moving forward, I bet in, within two weeks, I hit like 103.5 or something like that, you know, uh, the low point I want to be at. And I might just adjust uh, my diet a little bit then. So nothing will ha happen until then. So not any reason for me to update what I'm eating or anything. Uh, so main focus is training and performance at the gym. Today I'm gonna deadlift. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's gonna be heavy. I'm feeling okay. I ain't sore in my quads. My back feel okay. Uh, did shoulders yesterday, and you know, it's always you know you keep in mind what everybody else is thinking, and kind of stupid. Uh, I don't really care anymore. But you know, uh, everybody says at some point that behind the neck presses are bad for you. But keep in mind that that's the only exercise I could do for the pressing uh, shoulder presses so is it a bad exercise then probably not probably the best exercise I could do because that's the only exercise I could do so uh, even though you read something and even though you hear people talk doesn't necessarily mean it applies to everybody so uh, I think so. that's everything it is then I'm gonna pull bend some bars. Okay, so deadlifts got four repetitions on 290 kilos. 
actually quite happy with that. That's uh, it's not a PR, but it's uh, the same as a lifted. I think about the same time last prep. So nothing to really you know shout about. But we'll see uh, how it moves. You know going forward because uh, now we're gonna hit those numbers that's really gonna be heavy 300 310 and see how when it stops really uh, the only thing that I'm you know beginning to be a little bit uh, less confident about is I deadlift now uh, every fifth day I got four days off, then I deadlift again. So uh, hitting those high numbers uh, with squatting, with bench pressing, with uh, you know standing military press, it might be a little bit too much to, for my CNS. But then again, I uh, have been over training for you know the entire year, so. What I could do is just carry on pushing through and see, you know, if it's even possible to push your body to the limit. Uh, because if anybody watch this that uh, does, you know, regular coaching or regular training, they would say that I'm out of my mind trying to push my body every day, seven days a week, for you know now going on probably like 26 weeks or something like that um, so you know uh, we'll see uh, I need to keep in mind that it's the competition that matter uh, but then again I really want to make this YouTube uh, my little thing uh, going into the uh, comp uh, contest and work around it you know because this is a thing I've, uh, I've been planning for years. I actually planned it a long time ago. That was uh, where that first initial uh, video came from. When you see my transformation video, uh, I did uh, a weight loss of almost a little over 30 kilos to make that first video, just to see how much muscle I gained back in X amount of weeks and how fast I will gain back the muscle I lost. So uh, we'll talk about that on another video, but uh, you know, it's been years since I uh, planned starting YouTube. And if I started years ago, this shit would probably be going a little better than now because now it's every day, every week, every month, uh, more and more people wanna, you know, show Showcase what they know, what they can, and of course they should. Because if you have worked on something for uh, the amount of time that I have with my little hobby, uh, you should showcase it in a, uh, you know, in a way. So, uh, and it's more than, uh, you know, you can show in Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. Because Instagram is just, you know... Uh, instant gratification uh, you post a video five seconds and you want likes and you know it's uh, it's just not me really uh, i post pictures i post uh, some videos and uh, but it's not like uh, it's not like youtube and i've been watching youtube for more than 10 years and all i've been watching almost is like training videos and uh, this is part like uh, what I want to see, uh, probably if I was 20 years now, is how to actually do all the things that's uh, very simple in other eyes. Because all the tips, all the tricks, all the things that you hear about on uh, the other channels are like, it's only this or you can't do it. If you're not a pro by the age of 24, you're probably the have you you won't have the genetics and you won't have the opportunity and you won't you you're basically wasting your time. So if I can prove to myself and everybody that I'm uh, able to do something with my physique uh, after so many years of training and not only like training like normal people but obsessive 
training because that's what I've been doing for years and years and you know eating chicken and rice since I was 18 years old so uh, it should should count for something and I hope when it comes time that it uh, showcases in, in my physique so that is you know some of my uh, thoughts going uh, forward like I said I'm just gonna grind this uh, for you know uh, quite some time moving into the crucial part of the prep and then my days become longer and you know this will be a thing for me to do if if I'm awake 20 hours a day I need something to do so editing videos making videos talking about everything uh, from life to training to god knows what uh, will be a good thing for me I think so it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a journey. So, stay tuned, subscribe, like, bye bye.